What's up y'all? It's Monday morning about 11 o'clock and I'm headed out here to do some ammo hunting. Of course, as soon as I pulled out the driveway, it started raining on me as y'all can probably hear and see, but that ain't gonna slow us down. We're still gonna go out here and see what's going on today. I know I always say it, but if I don't, there's gonna be somebody in the comments to ask me what's going on. But if y'all are not familiar with these ammo hunt videos that I do, I go from Friday to Thursday, not every day, but just random days throughout that time frame. And then on Thursdays, I post up a video and show y'all what I got for the week. Since the weather has decided to turn pretty nasty, I'm probably just gonna hit one stop up at the Royal King. So let's run on in there and see what they got for us. All right, y'all, looking about the same in the Royal King again today, but. Let's take a quick look. Same 308, same 22, 250, 65 Creedmoor still here for 28.99. Looking like the same 45 here, but there is definitely one diamond in the rough here. Some 44 mag, 240 grain ammo ink hollow points for 29.99. I'm definitely gonna get a few of those. Got a bunch of the 40 still, pretty much the same 40. So I'm just gonna go through this pretty quick. Nine millimeter looking exactly the same, all except for some SIG full metal jacket, which is 23.99. So we definitely leaving that sitting there. 22 LR looking exactly the same with the TAC 22, the Stingers and the 45 grain Federal. Tons of that 5.56223 that's supposedly disappearing. It sure ain't disappearing around here. I can tell you that there's tons of it on the shelf. And then over here again, we still got that 300 Blackout Wolf, the steel case stuff. So not a whole lot different, but definitely that 44 mags are fine for sure. All right, y'all, made it out to Rural King again. Pretty much the same stuff in there today as they had last time I was in there, just a lot more of it. They did have a few new little gems in there, though, that 44 Magnum and a couple other things that I was able to pick up. So, uh, like I said, I'm probably gonna call it right there for today and head back to the house. Then I'll come out here when, or, uh, Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday and do the whole rounds and wrap everything up. What's up, y'all? It's Thursday about 11 o'clock and we're wrapping up the ammo hunting week again. Um, pretty decent little pickup so far this week. Not a whole lot, but I got a couple things that I needed. So uh, today, I think we're just going to run up here to the Rural King, see what's going on with them. And uh, then I'll probably hit my local shop and that'll be it for today. I may run into Walmart, but I'll probably skip Dunham's this week because um, I just went in there last week and it's probably about the same stuff, honestly. So let's run up here to the Rural King to start it out and see what they got for us. All right, y'all. Let's see what they got today. Mostly the same stuff in here. Tons of 308 as usual. They still got the 243 and the 270 for 28 bucks. This 76251, they got a good deal on it, 999. So that's definitely a super deal on that right now. 22, 250, 27 bucks. Still got the 30, 30 for 35. A couple good deals over here. Got the uh, V Crown 45 marked down to 1999. Still got that 30 super carry. As you can see, ain't a single box been sold. Still got right much of this uh, 44 Magnum here for 30 bucks. Got all the 40. It's pretty much still the same. The hollow points. They got the 40 uh, Smith and Wesson Blazer full metal jacket marked down to $25.99 which still ain't no kind of deal. Nine millimeters looking the same except they actually got this federal punch here marked down to $17.99. The streaks I believe they got the full metal jacket of that marked down to $9.99. Rest of it looks about the same as y'all saw. Tac 22 got that marked down again hoping to get rid of it. $5.99 on that. The Aguilas for $4.99. That's just too high for that. 45 grain federal they got the 22 ar tactical bolt pack 300 steel pretty much the same 556 223 they've had in here shot shells looking about the same they got the number two shot still got a pretty good bit of that fetter for 9.99 a bunch of the sabo slug 12 gauge steel 14.99 the challenger seven and a half and eight for 9.99 and nylo still in here and still got that number three steel 12 gauge so definitely some good stuff in here today and a few pretty good deals all right y'all made it out to rural king and they had a pile of ammo in there as y'all saw a lot more of the stuff that they've had for quite a while and some new stuff and some pretty good deals on a few things uh that 762 by 51 was an absolutely smoking deal so you know i got some of that um i think now i'm just gonna run by the local shop then i'm gonna head back to the house and i'll show y'all what i got for the week all right y'all up in here in the local shop won't go real slow unless I see something new. Still got that 357 SIG in here. 
Still got the 458 SOCOM, the 460, bunch of different 40 and 9s as always. 44 Magnum, 28.99 on the PMC, 33.98 on the Handgun Hunter. So good price on the 44. Nine millimeter UMC, still got that for 16.99. So good deal there. Actually, I'm sitting looking beside it. They got the Blazer for 15.99 now. So that's an even better deal. Tons of 38 Special, 380, 357. A little bit of everything in here. Everybody's always asking about 357, 38. There's piles of it in here. Bunch of 45 as always. Like I said, I won't go real slow because y'all seen most of this. A couple different kinds of 32. I'm gonna grab some of that for sure. Same with the 25 here. You got the critical defense 25 in now, 22.99 on that. Primers still just looking at small rifle Magnum and then the Magnum shot shell 8.99 for either one of those. Tons of the 22s like they always have. Some of these shorts. I might grab some of these shorts and some of the longs just because I don't have a whole lot of them. 17 HMR, 19.99 on that. 17.99 on the V Max HMR. So pretty decent deal on that one bunch is a hunting rounds again i think it's the same pretty much all the same as y'all saw last time so i won't go real slow 300 blackout 22 250 you got some 280 remington i don't think i saw that in here last time 280 remington i got 270 30 carbine 350 legend 243 Pretty much any caliber you're looking for, they probably got it in here. Bunch of 30 all six, 338 Lapua down there. Bunch of shot shells as always, 20 gauge, 12 gauge, a little bit of 16. So like I said, pretty much anything you're looking for, they got a little bit of it in here. All right, y'all, back at the house again. It actually ended up being a pretty good week this week. I found some things that I was needing, a couple things that some pretty doggone good deals, and just some, some things that I didn't have that I needed more of. Before I jump on in, if y'all do enjoy my videos, if you would, take a second to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and click that bell notification icon. That way you can get notified when I upload these new videos. But let's jump right on into it with what I consider the find of the week this week, without a doubt, and that's this Winchester 762 by 51 m80 full metal jacket 149 grainers um i'm sure pretty much all y'all if y'all watching these videos y'all know 762 by 51 same thing as 308 so basically 308 and these were 9.99 a box normal price of 21.99 but they got them marked down right now for the month i believe it is to 9.99 so you're talking about 50 cent around for 308 right now that is an absolute steal for winchester 308 um a while back if y'all watched my channel for a while y'all know i was paying that they put that igman 308 marked it down to the same thing 9.99 so to get this winchester white box at 308 is absolutely incredible honestly i can't even remember this stuff ever being priced for 9.99 even before the whole ammo scam started so uh that being said i picked up 10 boxes of it because honestly i've got a ton of 308 and 762 by 51 but for 50 cent around i I can't pass it up. You can barely even buy brass uh, for the 308 at that much right now. If if you even can do it, I know you can't reload it for this. Not even close. Not even for 50 cent around. You got to pick that up. So like I said, I got 10 boxes of that. Now the next thing I picked up from Rural King was three boxes of Ammo Ink 44 Magnum 240 grain jacketed hollow point. These were $29.99 per box. So. Just good old Ammo Ink Hollow Point 44 Magnum, $29.99 a box. Is that great? I mean, for right now, it's it's pretty much normal. It's probably a good price for right now. I have started seeing 44 Mag show up on the shelves again a lot at my local shop. As a matter of fact, y'all see they've got the PMC Bronze in there for the same, well, for $28.99, a dollar cheaper than this Ammo Ink. Uh, and they've got the Handgun Hunter stuff in there for $33. So my local shop's been getting a lot of it. This is the first time I've seen it back in at the Rural King in quite a little while now a few months of for four or five months probably so 44 magnum i've got to pick that up when i see it so like i say i got three boxes of that and then the last thing at the rural king this week yeah i got some of that 3030 lever evolution in there uh this stuff definitely wasn't cheap it was 34.99 per box of it so basically 35 bucks 3030 winchester 160 grain with the ftx projectile so it is definitely some nice ammo um i really don't like paying that much for it but it is 
is some nice ammo. I got three boxes of this, and as y'all know, I don't have anything in 3030. I hadn't had anything in 3030, but this past week, I actually found something that I wanted to go ahead and get. So I'll be having something on <laughs> in 3030 on the channel very, very soon. And 3030 is actually one of the rounds uh, or calibers that I have the least rounds of. So that's why I went ahead and paid this for this 3030. So I got three boxes of that. Now at my local shop this week, y'all saw they had some uh, 22 shorts in there. The only 22 short I had was a box of these, actually one box of them. Didn't have any of the hollow points. So saw these in there. I So I picked up another box of just a round nose, the uh, 29 grain round nose and the 27 grain hollow points. These were $10.49 per 100 round box. So not really too bad right now for 22 short. So a couple boxes of those. And then y'all know I picked up that little Beretta Tomcat here recently. So I had to get some more food for that thing. I've got another couple boxes of the Aguila, but I want to get some different types of ammo to try different brands. So they had this PMC bronze in there for one for $26.99, just regular old full metal jacket, 71 grain, nothing special about it. So uh, $26.99, like I say, per box. So I got two boxes of these. They've also got the Federal in there for, uh, but it's like 32 bucks or something like that. So I'll try these PMC bronze out and see how the Tomcat likes these PMCs. And then the last thing I got to go over is a package sent to me by Bill. Uh, he sent me a, a nice, nice care package of ammo of several months ago and sent me another care package of stuff here. So Bill, I really appreciate that, brother. I can't thank you enough. So what he sent me first off is some 380, 80 grain solid copper hollow points. So these are from Steinel. 380 these things look really really nice these things i can just tell you they're going to expand big time these cuts on this copper projectile here i can literally look down in the hollow point cavity and i can see daylight through those cuts so that thing's going to open up like crazy there's no doubt about it hopefully it gets some good penetration because it's definitely going to open up so and then another little box from steinel is the 45 acp the same exact thing basically except 45 acp 185 grain again really aggressive cut on these solid copper expanders i can see daylight through those again so these things are really going to open up big time i got a feeling so like i say got one box of those and then he wants to see just how good i can stretch stuff out at a distance with some accuracy because he sent me a couple different types of 223 and 556 and both of them are basically geared towards accuracy so you got the pmc x tac match loaded with the sierra open tip match uh projectile 77 grains so so really nice projectile loaded up in that thing as you can see open tip like i say open tip match uh sierra projectile so got one box of those and 223 and then he also the other 223 sent me was these ppu match so 223 remington match loaded by ppu hollow point boat tail now these are 69 grains so a lighter uh lighter projectile but they look look the same as the other ones open tip open tip match style bullet so i'm definitely gonna have to put these head to head and i probably got another one or two i can throw in there with it on the same video we we'll do a little accuracy testing from one of my ARs with the 223 and then along those same lines he sent me a couple different Frontier 556 with the Hornady projectiles in there both of them loaded with boat tail hollow points uh, one of them 68 grain one of them 75 grain so that'll be another really good accuracy test I don't know that I've got any more 556 uh, match type stuff but I'll do some looking around but definitely I'll split those up 223 on one 556 on the other and we'll do a couple videos with some accuracy uh, like I say, out of one of my ARs. And that was it for the week, y'all. A pretty nice little variety here. S a couple of really good deals. This 7.62 by 51, obviously that's the deal of the week. Not even close. Really everything I picked up, I kind of needed this week or I can do some really good testing with it. So uh, the stuff Bill sent was really awesome. That was just a cherry on top. Nice little variety of stuff he sent. So I think I, I did pretty good this week. But y'all let me know what y'all think about the pickups this week. As usual, let me know what's going on in y'all's area with the ammo, with the pricing and availability on it. Uh, what kind of stuff did y'all pick up this week, if you did any at all? If you did enjoy the video, like I said, reach down and hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click that bell notification icon. Check out all my affiliate links down below in the video description. If you shop through Amazon anyway, click my link and go straight through Amazon like normal. And anything you buy from them, I get a kickback towards the channel. Y'all also check out those Axel affiliate links down below. If you're looking for some really good ear pro, you can save some big money if you click those links instead of going straight through their site. As always, 
I appreciate all my Range Gang members for hitting that join button and every single one of y'all that watches the videos, thumbs up, subscribes, and leave me those comments down below. Again, let me know what's happening with the ammo in y'all's area. I got some really good stuff coming y'all's way, including a Punch 22 Magnum test that I should be uploading tomorrow. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.